Hello, quick little video here. So, as some of you may know, there is a mobile version of Critter in development. Now, I started to look into this because I wanted to know uh, if it's in development, where is it, and how far it is, because I like to follow development of apps, especially ones that I'm interested in. And um, what I found here was a post on the XDA forums called App Unofficial uh, Critter Port for Android. So, Obviously it's unofficial, but this is just a straight up port. This is a almost, this is just taking the code straight from normal Critter and put it on Android. Because from what I can tell, Critter is... This is, it's just like C++ or C Sharp, one of the two. And that runs on Android, so they just did like a straight up port like that. So... This is actually quite a stable build. It's um, this one right here, old critter, as I've called it. So this is unofficial. I believe this is before any, this was like made. What was this again? This was made uh, around December. So this, I think this was before most, if not any builds of critter were available to the public, at least official ones. So what well, I have critter loaded up here on this one, and it is, please, you zoom in and go over here like this. So you can see there's Critter. So I'm doing this on a note phone because many of the people that use Android and care about this kind of stuff will have a note phone. Tabs are not nearly as popular as Samsung Galaxy note phones. So what I'm using here. So because I don't want to load up any of my artwork, I'm just because it would take a while, I'm going to load up a, a basic canvas here. And as you can see, It is, it is a straight up desktop port, like everything works the same, in fact, so if I do this, yeah, we can see pressure does work, tilt does not work, these pens have tilt, no, I don't have a brush which, which can do tilt, it does not work, uh, but pressure works and that's fine, it's actually very accurate. It works for all. You could, you can get some work done here. Though I haven't myself got any work done, it, it is possible. And there are parts like this. It is just basic Android. It appears to just be very a very basic kind of emulation of Android, uh, and a basic emulation of the desktop version of Android. So everything is really small, or like scaled, like incredibly. So we got like the advanced color picker. So I had actually moved the layers to the color picker. Because everything was colliding and overlapping with each other. Uh, like there. So hover does work in this app, but not fully in this version. Like you don't get to hover and see what the brush type is. There is a bit of hover support, which is good. But like the tip doesn't do the hover. But overall, yeah, it's a actually a very stable build. And you can find it on the XGA forums. I'll leave a link. But there is, surprisingly enough, an official build right here of Critter, but we'll get to that in a second, let me explain a bit more of this, this story. Explain to you a little bit more about what's going on with Critter's development. Okay, so then, uh, someone posted on the Reddit, subreddit for Critter, so is anything happening, I could only find one, so this, so this post here, if we open it, make sure it's opening a new tab actually, open new tab, uh, as we can see, it was from about 11 months ago and it shows a screenshot of what I believe well, of a Samsung Galaxy tablet running um, Critter here so one thing we can immediately tell by looking at the screenshot is if we look here we can see that it is has just a kind of basic no app logo so this is clearly the one which I found here on the XDA forums is clearly a um, later version of Critter because it has that app icon so so once we had this release to the public I'll move this down actually and I'll zoom in a little bit so so now we have this and then a developer came down here and he said we are planning to release uh, version 2.9 Google Play Store so basically some stuff what they're saying is, is they did have like a, at least a somewhat working build but they found it hard, they, they had some trouble putting it on the uh, Play Store, like there was an issue with signing and uh, releasing. What you can do is you can 
C uh, here in this link which I have already have open this is the version which they have released it came out on March 24th as you can see here and this, these are the most current versions as far as I can tell of the software scrolling down I do not see so there are a bit new version on 29th, which is one which is built for Chrome OS, this build here, if you want to use it for Chrome OS. But, yeah, that is one of the most recent builds, come out on March 24th, and it's this one right here, which I'm uh, opening on the phone, and I think I'll put it right there. So this build, you can kind of tell, it's it's a bit slow, but there are also are things on this build which are working better than the one I showed you last time. For example, that didn't scale properly. So another thing you'll notice immediately, is that it says dev build right there I'll zoom in so you can no that's as far as it zooms it says dev build and that's very interesting as I said because well this shows that it's somewhat efficient at the very least so working around here I actually do have something we will open on this one so I took this directly off my computer and what's weird is is it says it can't save something it's failed to save but as we can see here it did save because I tried to save these things from this one here and it said it wouldn't do it but it does so this is a save file look at this no it doesn't work but this one here if we give it a minute I think I tapped it one too many times it does open now I actually do have the same file on my surface book here so we will put this over here for now to load and we'll zoom out so as we can see just for comparison's sake, here's the desktop version of Critter. Now, bear in mind, if we look at this from a purely Windows perspective, ah, oh, here we are. So this app here is at 100% scaling. If you want to think about it like that, and this is at 100. And this, so the phone's at 100% scaling. The Surface Book's at 150% scaling. This is a 1440p screen. This is a 3000 by 4000. Uh, display. So, so now I need to do the exact same thing on Critter for Android here. So immediately, one thing I've noticed is there's the, the palm detection is not as good. So we can see immediately that there is full functionality here, but I can't get it to scroll right now. I'm just gonna use it like that. Okay. In fact, better just do it out here. There we are. So I've deselected it. Let's go back into the brushes. So one immediate difference is that there is more working space lots of this in this version here have lots of things here been scaled down but there are also things now which are off screen which i for some reason cannot get to now one so i can immediately see the differences in color between these two this is a lot warmer i've accidentally done a selection there i think i'll just tap out of it so if i take the brush here obviously that works and in this one here I'm not getting the same result, but I cannot see uh, down at the bottom down here, which is weird. So this is, so one thing I have noticed about Critter is I had both open, right? And it was slowing down my phone whilst it was open in the background. So that's one thing to bear in mind. I don't know, is it? So yeah, as I said, Critter is a very intensive app. What we have on the phone here is full desktop critter. So, but we do not have on the phone full desktop hardware. So what you gotta bear in mind is like with the scaling there, when I exited the app, it had to reload quite a bit. When I went to the app switcher and then I opened, went into the app again, I had to reload quite a bit. So I couldn't do the rotation, but as you can see, the rotation works fine. Uh, I, it's, in a, it's in rubber mode. Okay, so you can still access that menu. So I'm gonna go into here. I'm going to set the same brush I have on desktop. Don't know how to go that. So what I will do is, is I'll try and give myself more real estate by disabling my navigation bar and see if that helps things. It does not. So I, I feel, I feel, I don't know, I don't know, but I feel like this version is actually less complete than the last one. Oh, okay. Reset. So I've just done a back, back gone back to be able to use that so now we are in the brushes you can see we have brushes here now 
and I cannot seem to get to my layers anymore. But we do have brushes, and that's what's important. So we have the second button here on the S Pen, right? So what does this do? Absolutely nothing, but I'll tell you, yeah, it does literally nothing in this app. This app has no compatibility with it, but every time something loads up, it has to reload. It's very, very slow because it is, it is dealing with a phone right now, meaning that it has to abide by the same rules when this is really a desktop app and is not used to abiding by the rules of mobile, meaning like it loses resources quite quickly, but it can also gain them back almost immediately so as I said yep see nothing if I just tap nothing again but pressure does work tilt does not work I've tested it already doesn't work but there is actually enough here to get a bit of work done so right now my layers panel is covered but I think I might just if I really try oh here we are Hat thing. Yeah, you see lots of elements here are overlapping. Uh, so yes, you can draw a touch, but you also get all of Critter's desktop settings. Which is good. Now, I can't demonstrate in here, so this is actually quite an unstable build. I would advise actually getting the build from the XDA forums. Um, this build here, it seems to just be generally more stable than the one that the crit team has made. Uh, but if you just want this version of the app here on the Play Store and you're not okay with installing APKs, judging by the how far they're through now, if they can get past the troubles they're having with the Play Store right now, this will be out relatively soon. Like it, it seems, it doesn't seem super stable to me. What you got to bear in mind is this is a very complicated image. Like, there's, it's, a, it's like a 4K image right now running on my phone. Like, I already get a bit of performance issues here. Like, not nearly as much as the phone, because this is a i5, right? But, it's a full image. So, just bear that in mind here. You've got to cut this a bit of slack. So, uh, yeah. I think that's all there really is to say here. I mean, it should be out sooner or later, but... I, they say they want to optimize it for touch, but judging by this build here, unless this is like the first build, uh, they haven't really done a lot to optimize it for touch. I'm excited to see what they do do in the future though. Uh, yeah, this is what I've got. Now there are three builds actually available, as we can see here, uh, for, uh, for Critter from the developers. I used ARM64, I would advise using ARM64 as well. Uh, if you have an Android phone, so just you got to know what. So most Android phones, modern ones, are running ARM64. I think ones older than maybe like 2014. I would say 2012 maybe, and uh, ARM32. And if you're on a Chromebook or emulator, go for the x86 version. But this one here, this x the A version, the x forums, which is this is the download link i would advise using getting this one for now at least because it seems to be running more stable in general and you can access more parts you could like there's less overlapping elements so yeah it, this does exist it's real critter on android is like a reality it's something that does exist uh, as well thank you for watching and have a great day goodbye